Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. In this video, I'm gonna discuss how I managed to lose 16 kilos in five months. So that's 35 pounds. Um, carry on watching and at the end of the video, I'm just gonna show you transformation pictures. So if you don't wanna watch the video, you could just scroll through and go see the transformation pictures. But I hope you enjoy it and I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Mwah. So I'm going to start off with first just a quick history about myself. I never ever had exercise before whatsoever. I think like the last time I really exercised was when I was in um, secondary school doing PE and I hardly even did that. I'm not going to explain to you guys how I put on weight because we all kind of know how that happens but I'll tell you guys what I did to make me lose weight. I first started with exercise and after a month uh, I introduced dieting so my food plan started after a month only because I just didn't want to go so deep straight away and um, I just didn't want it like I was scared that I'm going to be put off if it's really hard to core and then I won't reach my goal. So my goal was to lose 20 kilos. Right now I've lost 16 kilos and I've still got another 4 kilos left. But for me to kind of feel that I had ever accomplished anything is I counted my kilos based on, I gave myself like, so I had my big goal that I wanted to lose 20 kilos. And then I gave myself small goals as well, where I was like, well, in two weeks, I want to lose a kilo. And then when that would happen, I would just get so happy and it would just push me more to do more to lose weight. So do that as well, just make little small goals for yourself rather than like big goals. So you have your big goal and then just make like, be like, oh, well in three weeks I want to lose like a kilo and a half or, and be realistic. Don't do like, oh in a, in a week I want to lose seven kilos because yeah, maybe that can happen, but you will put all that weight back on, you know, so you don't want this. You want to lose weight and keep it off. like. After all this, I've lost 16 kilos and for a whole month of like Christmas, December time, I did not go on a diet or anything and I was eating burgers and you know Christmas time you're just eating, drinking constantly and I never put on a kilo, I didn't put on any weight, I just didn't lose any weight. So you want it like this, you want it steady and if you lose weight steadily, it'll be like you'll keep it off. First of all, I started exercising three days a week and I did this by going to hot yoga. So hot yoga is at 50 degrees heat and you do yoga moves in there. And I would just see how much uh, sweat I'd be dripping and just, you know, the fact that I could see the amount of sweat it would just make me feel like, okay, something's coming from this workout, I'm losing weight, I'm losing weight, and it would push me more. So I did hot yoga for three days a week, and I did this for two weeks, and then I lost a kilo and a half, nearly two kilos, and I had not changed my diet, like food-wise or anything. This was all just based on the hot yoga three days a week. So I was like, wow, you know? So then I decided that, okay, let me start going to the gym as well. But the only thing is that I had no clue what to do at the gym. So I went and got a personal trainer. Now, one of the main reasons I actually got a personal trainer was mainly just to push me to go to the gym. Only because of the fact that, I don't know, I kind of felt a little bit insecure to go to the gym when I don't know what I'm doing. And like I kind of feel like in the gym, you've always got people there that are... They look like they know what they're doing and look muscly and you know you hardly i don't know i hardly ever see especially at my gym like i hardly ever see people who were unfit at the gym they're always like you know muscly guys in particular as well and i don't want to go there and i've got no clue what i'm doing and i look silly so that was a bit of an insecurity but i'm admitting it that's what it was so then i got a personal trainer just so he can teach me what to do Another real main reason that I got the personal trainer was because of the fact that this way it would push me to go to the gym. So if I said that I'm going to gym tomorrow at 9pm, then I would have to go to the gym tomorrow at 9pm 9 9 because this guy is waiting for me and I didn't want to look like maybe I could cancel once or twice, but you can't cancel more than that because then, you know, I just didn't want him to think bad of me or just think that I'm lazy and so on. So it would just push me more to go to the gym. 
so I got my personal trainer and then I was with my personal trainer two days a week if you're not like me in the sense of you don't really need someone to push you and you've got that power yourself that's amazing and you don't really need a personal trainer you can use youtube or instagram videos to kind of like learn what to do and what moves to do at the gym i just want to put it out there that the thing that really worked for me was the fact that i would not exercise on saturdays and sundays and i would not diet on saturdays and sundays saturday and sundays are the days to this day that i do whatever i want I don't exercise, I eat what I want, I drink what I want because the whole week I will diet and I will do everything and exercise just because of the fact that I'm looking forward to Saturday and Sunday so I feel that I need that, I need that um, push you know like so I know during the week I'm kind of like suffering because I know on Saturday and Sunday I'm going to have you know I, any all the food in the world so going to food, when I first started my diet, I started, my personal trainer suggested to me to do this um, intermittent fasting. And what that was is, um, so for eight hours you're on and 16 hours you're off. So it means for 16 hours a day in 24 hours you're fasting and for eight hours you choose when those eight hours are, you um, can eat. For me, this intermittent fasting, I tried it for two weeks and it just didn't work for me because it's so hard. I wake up at 6.30 in the morning to go to university and then that means I can't break my fast till 1 in the afternoon. So this way I can have dinner at 9 o'clock, you know, uh, as soon as I come back from the gym. And from 6.30 till 1 in the afternoon to not have anything other than black coffee was just so hard for me. So I needed this did this for two weeks and then I stopped it but if you think that you can do that then do intermittent fasting it is good and it does work I did lose like a kilo and a bit there in the two weeks actually the diet that I do is that during the week I really cut out carbs so I don't have no rice bread chips potatoes um, I don't have no um, pasta but I do have sauces but very limited so if I find if I want some sauce I will have sauce but I'd be very I wouldn't go OTT and like put so much like mayonnaise and ketchup on my food no just maybe a, like a quarter of a teaspoon so just a tad and what I do is my food's very basic so for breakfast I have eggs so you can have your egg any way you want whether it's uh, omelette whether it's um, boiled scrambled whatever and you can have as many eggs as you want that you feel will fill you because that's all you're having eggs you're not having no bread with that or anything and you're seasoning it with black pepper I try not to add salt whatsoever to my uh, to, to any of my food. I try to substitute it with black pepper. If you feel that you can't have eggs, have a coffee with um, a banana. Um, or if you feel that you can't make breakfast, that's what I would do. I have a coffee and a banana and that's me all the way till lunch. Now for lunch time, I normally don't make food beforehand at home, so I tend to buy stuff outside and I'll just buy salad, so different types of salad, but I try to keep away from like Caesar salad or salads that are very saucy and have a high calorie intake. I try to go for a more bland sort of salad. Um, if you're making your salad at home, sometimes when I do make a salad at home what I do is instead of mayonnaise I get low fat yogurt and I squeeze lemon juice and black pepper in it and it's really really nice and I use that as a salad dressing so you can maybe try that now for dinner I have either chicken so chicken breast uh, skinless uh, salmon or cod or any sort of white fish and once a week I have red meat so you could choose what you want for your red meat whether it's steak a lamb chop or what you want to have you could choose it and I have these so I put these in the oven whichever one I choose that day and I always season them just with garlic lemon and black pepper and that's it and I have it either with salad or I have it with vegetables or I have the I have both salad and vegetables and that will be my dinner and five days a week this is literally all I eat now for snacks um, I snack a lot so I snack on cucumbers tangerines like any sort of fruit but 
banana only have one banana a day so don't sit there and like be snacking on bananas no so i snack one so i have loads of fruits all the time cherry tomatoes just add some black pepper to them and just have them like popcorn or something when you're watching a film and you really start to feel full if you don't want to snack on something cold and you're still hungry and you want something warm i get cup soups and i just add like a uh, red chili uh, flakes to it to make it a bit because I like chili you don't have to do that and I have cup soup it's like 37 to 47 calories depending on which one you choose so that's another thing that I snack on um, this is kind of my whole meal plan I know it's not that much and I know it sounds very basic but honestly it made me lose weight I lost 16 kilos and it was really hard what made me be able to do it is just the fact that I knew on Saturday and Sunday I can eat what I want and honestly after a while on Saturdays and Sundays you don't even really fancy anything fattening or anything like you might maybe one day have a burger because you fancy it but you just st your body stops fancying these things anyway I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys like it and if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Mwah.